La Isla Bonita, that's where we are today. To build the momentum of the upcoming Music and Food Festival, we're getting the opportunity to meet with some of the vendors that will be participating in that debut event. We will get a chance to taste some of the delectable and mouth-watering food that they will have available that weekend and also get an insight as to how they feel about being a part of this festivity. I am excited. I am super excited. I am more than happy. I'm looking forward to it. Our first stop is Ixta Caribbean Flavor, where the owner is from Melendez. Take your regular burgers and tacos and add her own little secret sauce to make them a little bit more special. Let's have a look. On my menu, I usually have it. burgers. I have one of the famous restaurant sort of burgers that I'm doing for you guys right now. Uh, we we'll have fingers, chicken fingers, we we'll have tacos. So I assume one of your highlights will be the Surf and Turf, turf burger. burger. Tell us about the Surf and Turf Burger. Okay, well the Surf and Turf Burger is usually with the pate meat, the beef pate meat. It comes with either shrimp or um, lobster. My plan right here is made with, um, you know, I don't even want to say what Your secret, <laughs> secret ingredient is <laughs> my yes, or it's my ingredients is the meat. I usually mix it up with um, ground steak and ground, ground beef. And that's not all. At the festival itself, Melendez will be featuring one of her signatures, El Pollo Chuco. Melinda says she hopes that through this festival, she can get more exposure and open her own restaurant. This is an international, you know, event, so a lot of people are to see what I, it's more exposure to us here on the island, to our businesses, so a lot of people are to see what we could provide for them. The fact that I already have friends call me and ask me to look into hotels for them, um, I think we're going to be super busy, you know, super busy and I'm looking forward to that. Um, like I said, I'm excited about it, you know. Um, one of the things that I like when I'm doing food is the hustle and the bustle, you know, when people crowd me and think and I don't ready for that. I'm hoping that, you know, before the year is finished, I could go back to having my restaurant. You know, something bigger or uh, maybe expand with the food carts, you know, have an extra three, four of them somewhere. If you're wondering what that drumming sound is, that's the sound that you're hearing right here at the Black and White Garifuna Entertainment Center where we have wonderful Garifuna music and even more wonderful Garifuna, authentic Garifuna food. So come on, let me show you. The owner of Black and White Garifuna Entertainment Center, Julia Martinez, prepared an array of dishes for us to sample, ranging from the ever-famous crowd favorite hudut, all the way to green and ripe plantain fritters. The highlight for my stall at the music festival will be the Garifuna Virgin Snapper and the number one at all time, the hudut. Hudut is fish cooked in coconut milk with pounded plantains cassava bread and of course I do serve it with a little bit of white rice. We offer cassava bread to our customers here in a variety of ways. It looks simple here but it can be served as a cassava roll-up, cassava it goes perfect with cassava dip and also a cassava sandwich. The Black and White Garifuna Entertainment Center is one of its kind in San Pedro and Martinez takes pride in what her restaurant has to offer. She shared her excitement in anticipation of the festival, and she's gearing up to provide some of her best dishes. My booth will be very unique. It will bring out the Garifuna lifestyle, the story, the history. Um, the food is just authentic. You know, we will be working hard. This will be the first, and of course, many more to come. The two staple ingredients. Of course, you must have your plantains and you must have your banana. Without the coconut milk, and the seafood, then it's not authentic traditional Garifuna meals. And we have three staple ingredients, the coconut milk, fish, and your plants. Definitely. The coconut milk, the plantains, and 
the banana. If you don't have that in your kitchen, it's not a Garifuna kitchen. I am more than happy. I'm looking forward to it. I am gearing up. I'm setting my team together and we will have a blast out there. I just want people to go out and support. It's a music and food festival. And that is what we are known for. The festival will be held at the Saka Chispas Field on July 30th and 31st. For love news from San Pedro, Giovanna Mogel.